Alright, so here we go. This is what the sea is ultimately going to look like. Now we just need to go ahead and glue it. I'm going to be using silicone. The reason why I'm using that is because it'll bond the plastic to the wood. Now it's not a very strong bond, but that bond will actually not be under any stress. It should be under very little stress. The main point of stress will be right here, and this will take care of you know the sia keep it in place this is mainly just for aesthetics so you have this continuous look of pvc all the way to the end you can see it on the back and the belly side now if there are any small imperfections it's not going to make a huge deal because we're actually going to be rounding both sides a little bit so that you know everything will look a little better you know there's not going to be a huge amount of pvc on the belly and back side of this we're also going to work on smoothing these down. The reason why I'm using silicone is because it's heat resistant enough that we can actually glue this and then later on we can do adjustments to the tiller and adjustments to the sea placement when this is nice and cool. So all I'm going to do is lift up the belly and the back side, put a little bit of silicone on there and then I'm going to secure it. And I'm going to be using a bit of rubber tubing for that. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to lift it up. Apply some cement in there. So I'm just applying it kind of liberally to the wood. When I press this down, I'm just going to let the excess come out one side. There you go. So now what I do is I just take the rubber band, wrap it tight. You wrap it over itself a couple times and it won't come undone. You just wrap. And the pressure, the constant pressure of the uh, rubber tubing will actually hold this together. So then I just bring it back and then just give it a loose wrap this way there you go so now you just let this dry let this set once this is fully cured and just follow the instructions on your particular uh, sealer that you're using once this is cured what we're going to do is just grind this off and then finish off the seal I'm going to let this set, and we'll come back to it. Alright, so now that this is set, I'm just going to remove the rubber. So, here we go. There it is. So now I'm just going to go ahead and clean this off. I'm just going to use a knife, really simple. Just go ahead and you scrape off the excess silicone. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go in and grind this. I'm going to round off the belly side and the back side. I'm also going to grind this just a little bit so that we have a nice transition because when I finish this up I'm actually going to be wrapping this section right here with a thin cord so you can't see this transition and it'll look really nice and finished but before I actually wrap that I'm going to string this bow up and see how everything is so I'm going to clean up this side I'm going to grind that and I'm going to show you what that looks like okay here's the 
See it all finished up? Here's the other one. So as you can see, there's a nice, you know, you've got the PVC pipe on the back and the belly. And it kind of follows this up. It's really nice. It kind of looks like, uh, you know, a laminated style of bow. A little different because most of the laminated horse bows and, you know, fiberglass bows that are in this style usually are laminated to a point and then it's just all wood. So it's kind of different from the belly and the back. It looks like a PVC bow and then you've got a nice wooden sea here. One thing I did was I actually went with the tip of a knife and I carved this section out. It gives it a cleaner finish. I might not even wrap this, I'm not sure. We'll see how this one, how this particular one comes out. But all I need to do now is string it up and see how it is and if I need to fix anything, any problems with the tiller or the balance, then I can do that. So what I'm going to do is cut a couple of quarter inch deep knocks right at these points here. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to string this bow up and we'll see how it does. Here we go.